Today, one of the moments on the front lines shows Ukraine's armed forces claim to have destroyed Russian tanks and military vehicles in the eastern region of Donetsk. A video shared by Ukraine's 58th Motorized Brigade appears to show the wrecks of the vehicles. It seems that in recent weeks, Putin's generals have been making a large-scale sacrifice to their hellish gods, throwing new forces and equipment to their death, and the result is dozens of burned-out Russian tanks and armored vehicles. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry reshared the video on X, formerly Twitter, writing, Aligned to hell, dozens of Russian tanks and combat vehicles were destroyed on a small section of the front in the Donetsk region. Fighting has intensified in the Donetsk region in recent months as Russia pushes to take more ground around the already captured city of Avdivka. Russian forces are currently targeting the strategically important city of Chasivyar, just to the north, and Ukrainian officials believe that Russia is now intent on seizing the regions of both Donetsk and Luhansk in 2024. The International Institute for Strategic Studies IISS, think tank reported in February that Russia's campaign around Avdivka had resulted in significant losses to both equipment and personnel. The report said that at that time, Russia had lost 8,800 armored fighting vehicles since it launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022. The Director General of the IISS also said in February that Russia had likely lost more than 3,000 tanks since the invasion began. To put that into perspective, Russia's battlefield tank losses are greater than the number it had when it launched its offensive in 2022, and Dutch open-source intelligence website Oryx puts visually confirmed Russian tank losses since the start of the conflict at just under 3,000. While other footage also appears to show a US-supplied Bradley infantry fighting vehicle attacking several Russian armored vehicles and tanks close to the devastated Ukrainian city of Avdivka as Ukraine works to restrain Russian advances on the eastern front lines. Russian forces attacked Ukrainian positions near the Russian-controlled Donetsk city with two tanks and five MTLB-tracked armored fighting vehicles, Ukraine's 47th Mechanized Brigade said in a post to messaging app Telegram on Thursday. Moscow captured Avdivka in February after months of grueling fighting, a strategic settlement to the northwest of the regional capital. Seizing Avdivka was a significant victory for Russian forces. In the months since, the Kremlin's troops have made slow but steady gains west, focusing largely on the Donetsk portion of the front line, as Kyiv contended with shortages of vital supplies from its western backers like the US late last month, US lawmakers passed tens of billions of new aid for Ukraine after the funding spent months tied up in Congress, shortly after, the Pentagon announced it would deliver crucial ammunition, artillery and air defense supplies. President Joe Biden said on April 24 that the deliveries would begin right away, and American equipment plays a very powerful role here, the 47th Mechanized Brigade said in a statement, the Pentagon has furnished Ukrainian forces with more than 200 Bradleys, according to the Department of Defense. The Bradleys have firepower provided by their 25mm cannons, 7.62mm coaxial machine guns and tow anti-tank missile launchers, used to target Russian armored columns. As a result of the Bradley attack, a Russian vehicle was set on fire, the Ukrainian brigade said, sharing footage appearing to show a Ukrainian airborne drone tracking a Russian vehicle carrying several troops. The fighters evacuate the vehicle before what looks to be a Bradley sets fire to the Russian equipment, and the 47th Mechanized Brigade has used the US-supplied Bradleys around Avdivka for months. A commander with the brigade told media in January that Russian forces were afraid to launch operations when they know that a Bradley will be against them. Russia has captured a smattering of Ukrainian towns and villages west of Avdivka in recent months, and Moscow is at once pushing from the former Ukrainian stronghold and further north in Donetsk, west of the city of Bakhmut, 
and Russia has controlled Bakhmut since May 2023. The US-based think tank, the Institute for the Study of War (ISW), has suggested Russia may slow its onslaught west of Avdivka to push on Chasiv Yar, a strategic settlement west of Bakhmut. Ukraine has said Russia wants to capture Chasiv Yar which would compromise Ukraine's defensive belt in the east by May 9th. Early on Thursday, Ukraine's military said its forces had stopped 39 Russian attacks around Avdivka over the previous 24 hours, and Russia's defense ministry said on Wednesday that it had fought off nine Ukrainian counterattacks in settlements close to Avdivka. <laughs> On the same day, the defense forces of Ukraine's south have conducted counter-battery measures and repelled Russian assaults as they persist in their intention to drive Ukrainian troops from their footholds on the 29th of April, and the Russians have not succeeded. The enemy launched three unsuccessful assaults on the left bank of the temporarily occupied territory of Kherson Oblast, having suffered losses, they withdrew to their original positions. The occupiers conducted seven unsuccessful assaults on the Orki front, including four near Staryi Mykolaiv and three near Pryayuthna, and the defense forces of Ukraine's south noted that the Russians conducted artillery shelling, launched numerous airstrikes using guided air bombs and unguided rockets. They also deployed a large number of attack drones of various types and continued aerial reconnaissance. A total of 68 reconnaissance UAVs were recorded flying in the operational zone during the past day. The Russians used 178 FPV drones, two Lancet attack UAVs and 161 fragmentation munition from various modifications of drones, continuing the terror against the civilian population of the frontline territories of Dnepropetrovsk, Zaporizhia and all the attacks were successfully repelled by the Ukrainian troops.